Hi, this is the another video which is continuation of part two, which was published in the recently. Here I am going to discuss about Hohmann testis. Testis, this is the plural form. If you use I as the singular form, in Hohmann, male has a one pair of testis which are suspended into the scrotal pouch with the help of spermatic cord. Now testis are covered by three layers. Three layers. The first outermost. Covering are the layer we call as the tunica vaginalis. Tunica vaginalis. This is the outermost layer. Second one is see here the first one tunica vaginalis, which is outer covering. Second one is the tunica albuginea. This is the middle layer. And third one is tunica vasculosa. Tunica vasculosa. Third one is tunica vasculosa. Now, tunica vaginalis is outermost covering. It has a narrow space is there. In that space, serial fluid. The space is the celomic cavity. The cavity is filled with the celomic fluid. It can reduce the friction while the movement of these testicles in the scrotum. Then the celomic fluid is present. Right? Second one is the tunica albuginea, which is the second covering, which is made up of the fibrous connective tissue. And here, second last one is the tunica vasculosa. Tunica vasculosa is highly vascularized. Vascularized layer. And here, this covering of tunica albuginea will be divided the testis into testicular lobules. Actual covering is the tunica albuginea. Tunica albuginea makes the testis into 250, it can divide into nearly 250 testicular lobules. Testicular lobules. Testicular lobules. Means the whole testis, the current tissue is divided into 250 lobes called as testicular lobules. In that testicular lobules, each testicular lobule, one, two, three, seminiferous, tubules are present, where the sperm cells originate, that place is the seminiferous tubule. Now in the diagrammatic representation here, this is the one side of testis, it has a Three layers which we discussed there. This is the epidermis, and here see this is a scrotal skin, scrotal skin, and this layer is the tunica vaginalis and tunica albuginea and vasculosa. It make into testis 250, it can divide into 250. Testicular lobules. These are the testicular lobules. Here, because of this partition, we can find the vertical partitions called as a mediastinum. Mediastinum. Mediastinum of testis by the division of vertical portions called as a mediastinum. And it has a transverse septa also present. These are the transverse septa. Now, each lobule. It consists of the nearly one, two, three seminiferous tubules. These seminiferous tubules they opened into narrow straight line called as the straight line called as tubular recti. Tubular recti. 
right this is a this is a scrotal skin and this one is a tunica vaginalis this is a tunica albuginea this is a tunica vasculosa these are the testicular lobules and here this is the tubular recta it opens into vas efferentia vas efferentia opens into epididymis reta testis then the epididymis in this epididymis is a highly coiled tube this is the epididymis and opens into vasa differentia into out right now here seminiferous tubules one two three there these seminiferous tubules opens into reta testis before that reta testis then this reta testis open into vas efferentia then epididymis this is the epididymis part epididymis then here these three parts are there cauda epididymis carpet and corpus and cauda these are the regions of the epididymis and here see the reta testis opens into vasa efferentia then epididymis then it runs out as a vasa differentia right now in the seminiferous tubule we can find the three types of cells are present seminiferous tubule is made up of the germinal epithelium which seminiferous tubule which is made up of germinal epithelium this germinal epithelium have it can find the two types of cells that is the first one is the septoli cells and here spermatogonial mother cells we call as a spermato gonial mother cells are present see here the the seminiferous tubule is lined by the two types of cells in that septoli cells and spermatogonial mother cell here from the spermatogonial mother cell because of the different meiotic and meiotic divisions takes place from the primary secondary finally finally spermatozoa produce whereas septoli cells which septoli cells the name septoli cells was discovered by the italian italian scientist and richo septoli he was discovered the septoli cells his name is enrich septoli these cells also called as sus tentacular sus tentacular cells sus tentacular cells also called as nerve cells nerve cells right septoli cells also called as sustentacular cells and also known as the nerve cells they are providing nourishment to the growing sperm cells that's why called as the nerve cells right and moreover these septoli cells produce the inhibin inhibin that inhibin it can that's the inhibin in the it regulates the follicular stimulating hormone it acts as a negative feedback mechanism on that right and along with that sub in the uh, lumen of the sperm uh, seminiferous tube you can find the leading cells also there the leading cells produce the male androgen testosterone 